Assalamu alaikum. I'm stood in front of an extremely important Islamic landmark. It is where the Battle of Badr took place, as you can see, where 313 approximately Muslims who were unarmed, they were not prepared for this battle. They defeated an army of around 1,000 kuffar who were fully armed with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's many lessons we can learn from the Battle of Badr. Here are a few. So the first lesson we can learn from the Battle of Badr, as you can see, these amazing men were the men who died as shuhada from this battle. We learn what true manhood is from the Battle of Badr. True manhood isn't to just go to the gym every single day and build huge muscles and flex it. No. True manhood is like these men who gave up everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please him. True manhood is like these men who would sleep a little of the night and pray a long time and would fast the daytime in the blistering heat of Mecca. That's what a real man is. A real man goes to Fajr and Isha in congregation in the mosque. So take an example from these men, O Muslims, as role models for manlyhood and manliness. And something my Sheikh recommends for everyone to do is to study the battle of Badr in Surah Al-Anfal and then to study it in the seerah and compare the two, how Allah describes the Battle of Badr and how the historians describe the Battle of Badr. Another lesson we can learn from the Battle of Badr is as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah that how many times has a small army defeated a large army that's far stronger, more powerful than them with the will of Allah and Allah is with those who are patient. And this is a lesson for Muslims. Strength is not in number, but is in the power of the heart, the power of the Iman. Take a lesson for Muslims from the Battle of Badr. These are our